Okay, so in this case, I have x minus 3 divided by 3 equals 5 divided by 8. So if I want to solve this proportion, um, I'm probably going to want to choose cross multiplication. I can multiply both sides by 3 and by 8, but I'm going to be dealing with some fractions. So I'm going to elect to use cross the cross products. So I cross product there, and I cross product there. Make sure you bring down the equal sign. So how do you write this? Remember, guys, don't write x times 8 times x minus 3 like that. Because that says 8 times x. That does not say 8 times negative 3. When you're multiplying 8 times an expression, make sure you put that expression in parentheses. Because once you put it in parentheses, Justice, do you remember what, the, what, is, that, what is that property we use when we have a, a product outside with the parentheses? Do you remember? Starts with the D and rhymes with the distributive property. Very good. Then over here, I have 15. I'm sorry, let's write it like this. 3 times 5. Okay. So now I apply distributive property. So Kevin, what is the meaning of life? Oh, you got, you got that in? OK. So now I have 8x minus 24 equals 15. Does everybody agree with me on what I did? I just distributed the 3. Now I need to solve for x. So now this goes back to algebra 1 applying two-step equations. Look at what's happening to your variable. It's being multiplied and it's being subtracted. We always undo addition and subtraction first. So I add a 24, 8x equals 39, divided by 8, divided by 8. Now, unfortunately, that 8, that x does 8 does not evenly divide. So we can use decimals, but in this class, unless we're using measurement, I'm going to have you guys leave it as 39 over 8. Leave it as its fraction answered. Okay? Do not need a decimal. We don't simplify either. Well, what 8? 8 times 5 is 40, so it doesn't, it's not going to evenly divide into 39. OK? Jake, do you write down that answer? Yeah. 